breaking news. Who the fuck is that guy? David Culley. Gone. Let's chat about David Culley being fired from the Houston Texans. It shouldn't surprise you that he's fired. When you watch what he did in game, he obviously was in over his head. He obviously didn't know what he was doing. And while a lot of us in, in media and as fans, we think it's refreshing when a coach goes to the podium and, and is asked a question, why did you make this decision? And he goes, I don't know. I just messed up. I don't know what's, you know, I don't know. It's a learning experience. I just, I just messed up. If you have to give us that speech four, five times in a year, ugh, one time, right? Like maybe one of the times Harbaugh went for, went for two when he shouldn't have. I don't know. This is a bad decision on me. I got to be better. But if you're just like, I mean, I'm learning. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. It just doesn't instill a lie to us. Even though, even though we complain as media and fans about tell us the truth, to be honest with you, a lot of us, can't, and the famous words of Jack Nicholas, we can't hand Nicholson. Jack Nicholson? Nicholas? I don't get him confused. We can't handle the truth. So I definitely need you to pretend like you know what you're doing. Justify it. Let me talk mess about you being a liar that that's not why you made that decision. But don't just come out and tell me you have no idea. I'm just clueless out there because he really is. Was. So this doesn't surprise me in the least. Uh, do I think another coach would have gotten more wins out of this team than David Culley? Probably not. Probably not. Do you think any coach gets more out of these guys? Look, the big mantra this year for David Culley was everyone said the same thing. They play hard for him. Oh, man, do they go out and hustle for him? Great. But this was a roster devoid of talent. You look up and down this roster. Who's the best player on the offensive side of the ball for the Houston Texans? Who is the best player? Is it Brandon Cooks? Is it Titus Howard? Laramie Tunsil? That might be your top three. Tunsil first, Cook second, Howard third. I mean, Tunsil is the best pro probably. But after that, Brandon Cooks is, he's not a star wide receiver on any other team other than this one, which is devoid of talent and on the defensive side of the ball, it's, it's, it's Justin Reed. And, and a lot of that has to do with the rebuild. I get it. So I, mean, I don't want to blame David Culley for a four and 10, four and uh, sorry, four and what? 13 record. And I don't think a head, another head coach does a ton better than he did. I think we all know, and I think we can all admit this was just, let's get through this year. David Culley's job was to, and I've made this comparison a thousand times. I'm sure you guys are sick of it, but David Culley's job was to be the Bo Porter of the Texans. Just get us through the rebuild. But maybe they feel like, okay, now we got draft picks. Now we're players. If we can go from four to seven wins, let's get a better coach in here. Or, 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 or. Maybe the Texans saw a name that they were absolutely enamored with. Maybe it's Brian Flores. Just throwing that out there. And maybe they were like, if we don't get him now, even though we know we're going to go through a, a rough patch next year, maybe we improve by a couple of games as we try to rebuild this talent, uh, the roster, uh, and, and the talent on this roster. But if we don't strike while the iron's hot, if Brian Flores is our guy, and we are 100% in on trying to land him, if we don't strike now, we're going to miss out on a great head coach. So... While I don't think that's the case because you got to look at the track record of this Houston organization, I really hope that's what is going on right now. Is that Nick Casario and the powers that be within this Houston Texans organization finally went, you know what? Let's play chess instead of instead of checkers. Yeah, we're not going to be that good next year. We still need a lot of talent and another draft or two to get better. But if there's a great head coach on the market because the Dolphins are morons, Let's go get him. Does that guarantee Deshaun Watson sticks around? No, probably not because he don't like me. Hi, I'm Nick Casario. Nice to meet you. But we get a really good head coach. I don't know. I don't know. This is all speculation at this point. Is there a name out there that you have your eye on? I kind of don't care right now. 
I am in such a bad place with this organization. They could go out and hire Vince Lombardi. And I'd be like, whatever. Talk to me in a couple of years when you show that you know what you're doing again. So it's going to take, I mean, you've got to earn my trust back, right? It's like a spouse that cheats on you. You might be like, all right, I'll stay around, but you're going to earn my trust back. That's, that's me with the Texans right now. The Texans have cheated on me with stupidity. They went on, had sex with stupidity over and over and over. Right in front of my face. It's so disrespectful. I'm willing to forgive, but you've got to earn my trust back. So let's see what they do with this opportunity. Because what, replacing David Culley or replacing Bill O'Brien with David Culley wasn't it. Getting rid of Bill O'Brien was a good move. One step forward, two steps back. Uh, Ashton said, what comes first, Barry? Talented, skilled players or coaching? It's See, here's the thing. It's got to be, uh, it, this isn't a single lane that you function in, Ashton. This has to be one of those, all right, we're going to attack on this front and this front. That's how you win the war. You lose the, you, you win a battle by focusing only on one thing, but you got to win the war of the NFL league. You got to win the war of football, which means you got to get better in scouting. You got to get better in coaching and you got to get better in personnel every single year. This organization was run into the ground by Bill O'Brien, but now's your chance. You got some draft picks, go attack the draft. And I got to give credit. Nick Casario did a pretty good job with what he had to work with in last year's draft. So let's see what he does with some first rounders, especially if they get Watson traded before March. At the same time, let's see how he handles the coaching search. Let's see if he does another dumbass move and hires another boneheaded guy like David Culley. I think that was a stopgap. I want to give him credit, but I don't know. So I think you have to do both, right? Like you, you bring in a Brian Flores or whoever you think is the next big deal with an eye on, we're going to be good in a couple of years and we're going to be ready to go and he's going to help these young guys get better. They're going to grow together. They're going to become a family. Uh, Justin Swiffer said, Brian Flores, Eric Bieniemy, Brian Leftwich, in that order. That's probably the top three coaches on the market. Now, look, a lot of folks are high on uh, uh, Kellen Moore. A lot of folks are high on Dan Quinn, both Cowboys. A lot of folks are high on Bill O'Brien, but we've seen that experiment. They ain't doing that again. You got all the retreads, the Joe Judges of the world. He's probably going to have to go back to being a coordinator. I mean, there's a lot of names out there, and the NFL is notorious, notorious for doing retread stuff. And and mark my words, folks, mark my words, it's highly likely that Nick Casario goes and pulls somebody in from the New England Patriots organization. It is just, don't if this was Vegas, if we had odds on coaches, and I gave you Patriots coach, current or former Patriots coach, or the field. I'm taking, I'm taking Patriots coach. And what I mean is Josh McDaniels might be the next head coach of the Houston Texans. Get ready for it. Because that's an absolute possibility. It's sickening. It's sickening. But it's an absolute possibility. I will say this. At the end of the day, the Texans have fired head coach David Culley. And I'm excited. It's a, it's a, it's a move in the right direction. Good. We recognize. We all recognize. He's not a good head coach. He doesn't belong in that position. So good on you, Texans, for making the right move. Now, let's get to some other stuff. I'm not going to take a...